So uh, yesterday we learned a bit about Alpaca's threat hierarchy, how threats are executed and so on. We learned that they are executed by physical and logical cores. And we've also seen that the threat scheduling order is unspecified from the view of the programmer, meaning that you can't make any assumptions in which order your threats will be executed. A set of cores is called a device in Alpaca, and devices are attached to exactly one host. Threats apply kernels or algorithms to data elements. And uh, when you have a problem that you want to solve with parallel programming, you need to make sure that the number of thread matches your problem size or uh, is sufficient for your problem size. We've seen how the thread hierarchy works. We've seen uh, how a grid is uh, made up out of, of all the threads running a kernel and how a grid can be divided into thread blocks of equal size. So for today, there are two things that I, might, I want to mention. Uh, we have another prerequisite for the examples, as we found out yesterday. Apparently, we can't assume that OpenMP is present on Apple systems. So if you are an Apple user and you run into trouble, please follow this link to GitHub, where uh, one of you kindly uh, opened an issue yesterday about this problem. Also, if you uh, go to our official Alpaca documentation on read the docs.io, you have to choose the correct version. Uh, by default, it's set to the latest unstable branch, and uh, down in the bottom left of the uh, left column, you can uh, bottom right of the left column, you can change to the stable version. That's 